In today's video short, we're going to be talking about how we can use individual cow somatic cell count uh, data to troubleshoot bulk tank somatic cell count problems. Now in today's environment where, where selling high quality milk with low somatic cell count is so important, the emphasis is on keeping that bulk tank somatic cell count less than 200,000 cells per mil. Now when that cell count starts to creep up, we need to determine why. And one of the first steps in troubleshooting a bulk tank somatic cell count problem is to go in and determine, do we have a problem with just a few high producing cows that may be chronically infected, or do we have a problem where we've got a large proportion of the herd, or a high prevalence, if you look back at some of our previous videos, a high prevalence of subclinically infected cows. To give you an example of how this can impact your herd, we've got real data from two herds. And this issue is actually really much more important in a smaller herd than it is in a bigger herd, and this data shows why. We're showing you data from two herds. They're both relatively high producing U.S. herds. One herd is milking 2,200 cows, and the other is milking 220 cows. We've listed the five cows in each herd that are contributing the most somatic cell cells to the bulk tank. You'll see in the very large herd, the somatic cell count of the highest contributing cow is about almost six million cells per mil. But that cow is contributing only about 1% of the total bulk tank. In contrast, in the smaller herd, the individual cow's somatic cell count is also just above six, six million cells per mil, but in that smaller herd, she's contributing over 10% of all the somatic cells in the herd. So you can see clearly that our attempts to reduce bulk tank somatic cell count in that smaller herd would have to include a focus of, or some decisions on what to do with that individual cow, whereas in the bigger herd, we'd be looking broader across other factors influencing the herd. Now to make these calculations, all you need is the individual somatic cell count value of each cow and their milk yield on the test day that the somatic cell count was um, determined. The calculation is pretty easy to do. You simply multiply the milk yield by the cell count and look at the relative contribution um, to um, the cells as compared to the amount of milk in the tank. And we're showing you the calculation here. <music> If you'd like to access some um, software that can help you do some calculations and look at the economic contribution of these high cell count cows, you can access my colleague, Dr. Victor Cabrera's UW Dairy Management website. And you can click on the link here. <music> 